Hey y'all, this is Allie from Warglare Zines, and today we are going to talk about Cave Dweller 71's zine, Torso. Hello. Hey y'all. Hello. My name is Allie. I'm eating a Mayfield ice cream brown cow, and I want to talk to you about zines. And I want to talk to you about zines. Cave Dweller 71, or Andrew, was originally inspired by an illustrator named Alice Wood, who started a project called Torso of the Week, which is an illustration project that she does where she illustrates a torso every week. And she does it to um, promote body diversity and body positivity. And so I guess one of the things that I should tell you is that he did actually message me on Instagram first and ask me if he could send his zines to me. And the reason that is important to mention is because his zines actually feature a lot of male nudity. Um, they are photography zines, they are self-portraits, and some of them include penises. And so I want you to know um, that he did not just uh, randomly send me unsolicited dick pics and also although I am going to show some parts of the zines on this channel none of them will include his penis and I just feel like that's something that you need to know because everybody's comfort level is different and I can't <laughs> ask every single person on YouTube for their consent so uh, that's how we're gonna handle that uh, on this occasion so cave dweller 71 um, describes the torso zines as an attempt to show the male body in a plain and vulnerable way without showing the usual forced titillization. And I was originally interested in his zines because although men are the worst, um, and I, when I say that, what I really mean is Brock Turner is the worst and Trump is the worst and they can both rot in hell. Um, what I really want for men is for them to allow each other the opportunity to be vulnerable in a, a safe way. I think um, women have the opportunity to be vulnerable with just about everybody, um, and cisgendered men do not have the opportunity to be vulnerable with anyone especially with each other. And so a project that focused on vulnerability was immediately interesting to me, not only because my own zines are about vulnerability, um, but also to see what vulnerability can look like from a male perspective. For me, um, working with the War Glitter zines is about vulnerability because it's about shedding this persona that I had to construct for myself to keep myself safe. Um, and for Cave Dweller 71, his project um, is based on photographs that show unretouched, unapologetic, honest portrayals of a middle-aged man's body. Um, so I think that we all need that. Um, we all need this uh, opportunity to unfurl these defense mechanisms that we've created for ourselves for whatever reason. And I am 100% behind men doing that because ladies, like, I'm not trying to betray the sisterhood or anything, but it, we've got to get men to give each other the opportunity to be vulnerable before anything that we're doing is going to work. Anyone's photography is really interesting to me because um, since he is displaying his body in a way that um, is not like touched up, it's not even posed in these stereotypical um, masculine sexualized ways, um, by doing that it shows a refusal to buy into um, that ideal masculine d uh, body 
And that ideal masculine body is used to sell the ideal and that's perpetuated. And so by being unwilling to be a part of that, I feel like that in itself is a revolutionary act. And because they can't use that image to sell things, I think it's also anti-capitalist. Um, it's a kind of disruption where if we normalize this unapologetic, honest representation of the human form and um, just body diversity in general, then they can't use that bullshit to sell things to us. So I want to show you a little bit of the zines. Um, this envelope is just crammed full of them. Um, he's only been doing this for a year, but he's already got quite a lot of zines. He's got, um, let's see, I'm up to torso issue number 15 um, here. And then past that, there's also like a one-off that he did for his birthday. Um, there are some, some that are like compilations of um, photography from different zines put into kind of like a recap issue. Um, and then, I don't know, and then he's kind of starting something new. So, all right, let's start with issue number one. <laughs> so, issue number one, um, there's, this is the cover, um, there's the man nipple, which apparently is okay, but, um, lady nipples, you know, bad. So this was, um, a zine that he put out in October of 2017. And one of the things that um, I really enjoyed about having so many zines to look at at once and kind of have like a retrospective of a whole year that he's been doing this is that um, I can read the original manifesto for why he started making these zines in the first place. And then I can also juxtapose that with the October 2018 issue where um, his reasons behind continuing the zine have kind of changed and his thesis has developed a little bit. So here's the manifesto from the original 2017 um, October issue. A manifesto. My body is just what it is, skin, fat, and bone, unsightly pubic hair, penis, and testicles. This torso zine is me naked, natural, and not posed, not afraid of being judged, and feeling happy, losing any inhibitions. I suppose, as a man, it's just cool to show what a normal penis looks like. It's not a big deal, so why fear? I know it's hard sometimes, but we should feel proud of our own unique bodies, use them how we want, and embrace the fact that they consistently change over time. So that is the first page from the first torso zine. But if we skip ahead to torso 15, um, this is October 2018. And um, this is the writing that introduces the zine for this one. So what makes us vulnerable? Can it be seen in something so weathered and fucked up beyond recognition, unprotected and attacked by the weather? Something that has been he there for years, experiencing extremes. Is it about immaturity, not having the knowledge or being reliant on others? For warmth, for love, to choose for us, still wanting to play with no desire to change the world a life of hard slaps and steep slides. Is it in emotions? When we care too much about what others think and not how we feel, willing to let our health decline and waste away as long as we exist in someone else's heart. Is it about isolation? Not so much geographical remoteness, but a feeling so alone, hated and despised, knowing that we're being treated differently because we have certain beliefs and views, scared to be who we are. It's probably in all those things and more. There's a certain vulnerability that comes in being naked, not just in how you look and feel, but also from being open to ridicule, not measuring up. Not so much a body being on display, more a life laid bare. Messiness and irregularity, thoughts and dreams. Pain, but ultimately contentment in the end. 
Perpetual Persecution Collage on Flip contains text and image from a number of sources, including Unsupported Mother's Handbook. Many thanks to for... Yes, okay. And I'll just delete that. Okay. Um, so this uh, issue number 18 from October 2018, um, the first image is torso with penis, and then next to it is this more um, representation of Cave Dweller 71's environment. Um, and you have like a statue, and then a large mural, and then some graffiti on the back. Um, one thing that is interesting that he does with every zine is he um, adds a flip poster on the inside. And this is a very um, detailed one. Um, and it's a comics collage. Um, well, let's see. There's comics. There's uh, paintings. There's um, imagery from protests. There's a lot going on. And all of them um, also devote the center page to a larger um, photograph that could be kind of like a poster um, on the inside. So you can tell that um, Cave Dweller's idea of how this is going to continue is shifting a little bit. And he does a really good job of talking about that shift in Torso Offcuts number one. Um, it also starts with a um, little introduction at the beginning. It says, Offcut starts where Wild ends figuratively. Um, Wild is another series of the zines that he makes specifically for zine fairs because they're less explicit and they're more about um, his body and the environment, kind of um, how that affects him physically and emotionally. I should have just kept reading. Um, so yeah, Offcuts collects photos that weren't specifically taken as part of any series, and there's kind of a little bit of everything. So this is like a stump, and some debris, and then an out-of-focus self-portrait, and some found art kind of out on the street. And then um, the poster on the inside is pretty cool. And then in his most recent zine, uh, December 2018, um, this one is called Circa, um, Torso Circa 2018. He says, um, do, 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 do. What started as more of a comment on images that are presented as a normal male body, yes, I also hate the word, and yes, I realize it's a thousand times worse for girls, became more about aging. I never wanted this to feel artificial, but to be more about how time changes my body. Yes, I wanted it to be raw and vulnerable. I'm a middle-aged bloke, so it was never going to be virile hedonism.com, but I feared this message was being lost or clouded, which brings me on to Circa. Circa is the visual document that will be carried forward. Pictures of my body taken over the years, decades even, and my feelings about my body. Um, and so I think that aging is something that um, we can all uh, feel a connection to because we're all going through it. And so I'm interested to see how um, this kind of new uh, version of Torso ends up developing uh, and changing along with um, Cave Dweller 71's needs. Um, and about that, you know, the zines, some of them have more writing than others, some of them have more photography, but as a zine, that is the perfect medium for that because it's... Um, it's fluid enough to allow one zine to have more um, writing and one zine to have more images. So it works really, really well for the zines. Um, 
the zines are uh, put out by An Androcles Press, which is a one-man operation. It is just Cave Dweller 71, and um, he usually only makes five copies of each zines. He makes them for zine fairs and for libraries, so I feel really privileged to have copies of so many of these zines. And I'm really happy that he sent them to me because um, I enjoyed sitting down with them and kind of um, delving into how I was going to talk about this topic. So thank you Cave Dweller 71 for reaching out to me and asking if this is something that I would be interested in looking at. It definitely um, kind of rings my bells and I appreciate you reaching out to me. If you would like to reach out to me uh, for a potential review or if you're interested in trading for one of my zines, you can do so um, by just uh, DMing me on YouTube or Instagram. Most people send me messages through Instagram and you can always send zines for me to review to the P.O. Box that I have listed down at the bottom. It looks like a street address but it really is just a P.O. Box. So until then, keep making and do it yourself.